guys, you're watching Geeks Assemble, and today we're with another review of um, something different, episode one, series one of Sherlock, yes, yeah, so we're going to review each episode of Sherlock now, and um, yeah, obviously episode one's an introduction to this world of Sherlock, and Sherlock in general, obviously Sherlock's a genius detective reporter, who's played by Benedict Cumberbatch, who's a well-known actor, obviously, from being Sherlock, he's quite known for, also known for Doctor Strange in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and he's a brilliant actor who's been in loads of things. Then we've got John Watts, who is obviously Sherlock's sidekick, who's come out of a war, he's a bit war struck and and he's, um, he's a doctor as well, so he's helping Sherlock along with these crimes and investigations and how these murders have come about. And uh, John Watts is played by someone, I don't know his name, but he's quite famous, obviously, from the Marvel tran franchises and The Hobbit, of course. And he's been in the Cornetto trilogy and so over many movies as possible. He's a brilliant actor as well. So we've got two main brilliant actors. And then we've got um, also uh, Moriarty, the, the little at the end there, summarising a plot for series one of who Moriarty is and are we going to find him in series one? Or is it going to be a long, stretched out plot to find out who is Moriarty? Uh, obviously, if you've read the books and stuff like that, Moriarty's um, Sherlock Holmes' is arch enemy and is basically like Doctor Who with the Master and the Doctor. It's that dynamic going on. Um, so, yeah, we've got that going on. Then we've got Sherlock's brother, played by Mark Gattis, who is quite well known in Doctor Who and... Dracula, he's written with Stephen Moffat. Stephen Moffat wrote the whole series of Sherlock. So these brilliant minds and brilliant actors are coming together for this. And um, I don't know her name, but the person who owns, uh, who lives in 221 Baker Street, I think it is. Um, the person that lives there, she's adorable and lovable. And it's just funny with her witty liners. It's just hilarious. But yeah, so let's get on to it. Um, story. With this story, we've got um, basically John Watts is having flashbacks of the war. He's going, oh, oh, and getting his head together. And he meets an old friend who introduces him to Sherlock. And Sherlock's like, oh, you had a brother who did that. And then you drop the phone to do that. And then your hand's like this because your, um, your psychiatrist is telling you to do that. And then this is this is this this. And he's like, whoa, how did you know that? It's like, I looked at you. <laughs> uh, um, so then, also, you want to be my, uh, live with me as a flatmate. How did you know when no one told you? And he's like, obviously, I told him earlier to do this, to do that, to, do that, to come to me. So, yeah, it's, he's so clever. He picks up and stuff. Like, you look at me now and pick up, I don't know, that little um, old age wrinkle going on. And he'd pick up that and go, all oh, that stress or whatever, or that links to that, that links to that, or all oh, look at that spot because you're a spotty teenager. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, that's what he'd do. He would instantly go like that with um, what you're doing, really. So he's quite clever and quite picking up on that. But also you can sense when we see uh, Mark Gattis's character, who I've forgotten the brother's name, but he's brother of uh, Sherlock. He's a bit like that as well, like when he was doing that with John, when he introduces John. So yeah, that was interesting. Uh, so with that interplay, John's brother, uh, Sherlock's brother is keeping an eye on him, basically. He's keeping tabs and he wants uh, John uh, John to uh, help him keep tabs on Sherlock. He, he declines the offer. But also, John's only just met Sherlock, so it's a bit like, whoa. You know, that chemistry isn't there yet, but... Sherlock also we get a glimpse into him and how he's investigating and the, the police take the mick out of him and call him the weirdo, the psychopath or the um the crazy one and just rip on him and say one day he's gonna be getting so bored that he will be creating the murders himself, you know, and it's like they really don't think much of him. And Sherlock doesn't care, he's he's here for the thrill and they're not wrong the police in a way, the way he acts and the way he does things. But yeah, um he's very one step of the game, the game is afoot, and yeah, then we get to learn that these murders are happening constantly throughout the story, and um, it seems to be suicides that are linked, so it's not suicides, and then we find out that Sherlock works out it's a cabbie, 
you never expect a cabbie. You don't look at a cabbie. You can't remember a cabbie. I can't remember the people who I uh, sat in an Uber with or stuff like that, you know. So they are very much the perfect killers a cabbie man can be. Because you just see the back of their head, you don't notice them, and then bam. And it turns out to be the cabbie, and he puts a pill on the table and puts a pill on the table and tests his Sherlock. He knows that Sherlock can't, he has to resolve an answer. He has to be the, the cleverest man in the room. And to do that, he has to try and maybe take the pill. But thank God John Watts, who ran in the wrong building, had to shoot from a distance and kill the old cabbie so Sherlock could survive and stop him taking the pill. But also the cabbie before that had a gun that was fake and he basically tormented their victims to taking the pill and choosing the wrong pill so he could beat them in a way. Because he's dying already and he's not allowed to see his kids but but he's being sponsored by someone. That someone is Moriarty. He's being sponsored by Moriarty to kill people. And um, basically it's a game that Sherlock has to continue on to play on with the next episode. So yeah, it's a very intriguing one. I found it quite interesting. And um, a story that... It was an hour and a half and it didn't... It felt like an hour. And that extra half an hour won't fly by, mate. So yeah, it was brilliant. So yeah, I'm going to give this story out of 10, a 9. I'm going to give this story a 9. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the introduction, the characters. And um, yeah, brilliant writing by Stephen Moffat. Mark Gattis was brilliant. Benedict Cumberbatch. And the person from the Hobbit slash Marvel movies. He's brilliant as well. So yeah, credit to all, credit to all. And the police officers I like as well. Well, one of them's a bit of an idiot, which Sherlock takes the mick out of. And then the other is respecting Sherlock and is like his friend and I, I do like him as well so he's a brilliant character so there's a lot of brilliant characters in this and the villain's quite intriguing as well and obviously he's not the main villain so you have to work out where it leads to Moriarty next and yeah is it a company is it a mass mind behind all this we'll have to find out join me next week where I review um episode two and if you don't like my reviews of Sherlock then there's always Harry Potter, Marvel, DC, Star Wars, Doctor Who being Human, Merlin, Jack Torchwood, James Bond, shows, movies of all I review on the channel. So this channel's for everyone. So you might as well subscribe, get the little bell so you don't miss a video, and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys for another video very soon. Have a nice day.